Study session number one. What's the first chapter that we're going to study tonight? Infection control, Natalia. All right, Alessandra. So let's go to chapter 76, I mean page 76. Okay, so infection control is clearly really important in our field. Mm -hmm. so we have to know it thoroughly. Mm -hmm. So the basic infection control concepts. Okay, the autoclave, biologic indicator, chemical vapor sterilization, cross-contamination, disinfection, dry heat, gray, uh, germicidal, germicide immunizations, infectious agent, non-critical instruments, uh, occupational safety and health protocols. Okay, so let's go over the vehicles of transmission of pathogens. So there is the oral pathogen and the Yeah, which are really important to watch out for when treating clients. Or always wear a mask. Yes, in the operatory. Um, besides infection control, immunizations, really important as well to prevent transmission of infectious disease. Standards of care. So we can follow the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, known as the CDC, and the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, within the U.S. Department of Labor. So, so recommended immunizations for healthcare providers is mumps, measles, German measles, <laughs> tetanus, poliomyelitis, Influenza, hepatitis B. Yeah, so those are the critical ones. So it's imperative that we take a perfect uh, health history of the client in order to figure out if all the immunizations are there. Yeah. And to treat all clients so they have everything. No matter how old they are, where they're from, or what they do. Universal precautions is what healthcare providers use. Standard precautions. So we have to know the health history. Um, Transmission based uh, precautions as well. Biomacterium yeah. tuberculosis testing is critical too. So anyone with active TB is not allowed to put that whatsoever. Oh, here are some pictures. Get some visual understanding. That's a needle. A syringe. Which always goes in the biohazard disposal. Biohazard disposal. Okay, so now this is autoclave. Here are our instruments. So we have to know critical instruments. Okay, so the steps for the instruments for decontaminate instruments with an ultrasonic cleaner. So always wear heavy duty gloves to prevent from poking and possibility of transmitting disease. And prepare the ultrasonic uh, solution according to the, the manufacturer. So different solutions have different ways to prepare it. So you got to make sure that you prepare it the right way. Matt, that's your phone. We ignore our phones when we study. <laughs> I got an email. Um, yeah, so um, these pictures don't have images of the instruments being wrapped, which is important. Okay, so first you have to pre soak um, the instruments, and then after pre soaking, the solution is removed. Rinse the instruments in the basket or cassette with cool water. And then, and then once they're clean, um, wrap them up and stick them in the autoclave. Mm -hmm. And 
you have to carefully dry the instruments. Oh, when you use different gloves for wrapping instruments? Mm hmm Can you empty the dishwasher or whatever cleaner solution you have? Use your heavy duty ones and then wrapping instruments, use your working gloves. Okay. So hand washing is also very important for us because we are constantly touching different surfaces and then constantly going into touching other surfaces and then going into people's mouths and stuff like that. So it's important and imperative that we always wash our hands for at least two minutes and sterilize with um, Purell. Yeah, or Jemisodium. So it's not just hand washing, it's like the whole lower arm washing as well, up to the elbows, in a circular motion. And um, yeah, how to dry once you're done. And sterilization methods, when you're using the steam autoclave, it's for 20 minutes at 121 degrees Celsius. Right. Unsaturated chemical vapor, 20 minutes at 132 degrees Celsius. And dry heat oven is 60 to 120 minutes at 160 degrees Celsius. Rapid heat transfer is 12 minutes at 181 Celsius. And ethanol oxide is for 10 to 16 hours at 61 degrees Celsius. Oh, so which one do we use in clinic? Rapid heat transfer. Yep. Ding, ding, ding. Good job, Natalia. We should see for so this is where we just reach ourselves. This is something important we mention it. Otherwise, salt stuff is contrary to this point. So we all know this. Yeah. We know how to set up and break down the chair. Close the barriers. Um, disinfect it twice. Never touch the chart like that. No, that's disgusting. Never contact anything. Yeah. Over gloves. Yeah. Pretty much, just use over gloves. Okay, so we're gonna go over some uh, key concepts. So sterilization and surface disinfection can be achieved by physical or chemical means based on the equipment, type of procedure, and level of risk of exposure. Okay. Um, hand washing is the most effective strategy for prevention of infection and disease transmission. Uh, CDC recommendations for universal precautions indicate that healthcare workers use personal, protect personal protective equipment when exposure to body fluids is likely. Basic tenet of universal precautions is that all clients should be viewed as potentially infected. Uh, current infection control guidelines or recommendations are easily accessed via via key internet sites. Healthcare workers uh, who adhere to infection control strategies reduce the risk of infection for themselves, their families, and their clients. Natalia, I think we forgot one thing. Who's that? Goggles. Oh yes. <laughs> Really important. So and your mask. I say, yeah. How many? How long can we wear a mask for? Thirty minutes. Good job. Yeah. So now we're done infection control. Good job, Maddie. You think we're ready? I think we're. I think good? we're ready. We're good with that. Okay. Study, study session number one. Complete. Complete.